In a previous video I showed you how to make this micro tesla coil based on Gibluer's slider exciter circuit. This tiny coil needs a ferrite core on the secondary. I will now show you a new version that does not need a ferrite core and is only a little bit larger. The main part of our tesla coil is the secondary. It is wound on a plastic tube that is about two and a half centimeters in diameter and four and a half centimeters in length. These are not critical measures. It can be a little longer or thicker. And we have 350 turns of wire. You can put a little bit more turns or a little bit less. Uh, it is convenient that the start of the winding you solder a thicker wire in order to facilitate the connection to the rest of the circuit. The wire is magnet wire of size 36 or 38 AWG. The other extreme of the wire is left unconnected for the moment. Use electrical tape to wrap it around the secondary in the end where you connected the thicker wire. Now wind 5 turns of wire size 24 to 28 AWG. Put some extra tape above the 5 turns to prevent unwinding. This is the diagram of the coil. I recommend to use the BD135 transistor, it works really well with this circuit. And this is the pin layout of this transistor. Our coil is almost ready. We have connected everything as per the diagram. The transistor has the pins, emitter, collector and base. The primary coil the coil with five turns is connected with one side to the resistor and the other to the collector of the transistor. One common mistake is to misplace the connections of the primary. If your circuit does not work, you have to swap the connections of the primary. This is one common source of error. Also. The LED is connected with the positive pin to the negative of the battery. This may seem like a mistake, but it is not. This is the way the circuit works. Finally, we have to connect a top load to the secondary, to the end of the wire that is unconnected. This top load acts as a capacitance and increases the range of the coil. For that, we will use the bottom of an aluminum can. Before we put the top load, you have to remove the varnish of the magnet wire. For that, you can take sandpaper and carefully sand the wire to remove the varnish. You have to sand the aluminum in order to make good contact and use some tape to fix the wire. Then put some glue over the secondary and place the top load. Ok, it's time to test our little coil. I'm going to try first with this little neon lamp. And we can see that it lights up. Now I'm going to use this small fluorescent tube. This is a larger one.
and finally I'm going to try with this big tube. There you are.